I'm gonna see if I can't figure these bass out. That's uh... oh, yeah, you followed that weird shaped fish. Look how broken he is. Let's get cracker lacking again. I'm back at it. And there's like this grass line that just runs off this bank. Definitely where the chalet is, that's definitely the deepest part of the dam. It gets quite shallow down that side. You can actually see by the terrain. But that's basically how I determine <clears throat> deepest part of the water, uh, deepest part of the dam and shallowest part. So let's just quickly break it down. So if you guys can see the, the actual mountain comes at a bigger slope, generally be your deepest part of the dam. And then when you actually look across, you can see how um, flat the terrain is. So you can follow that terrain really the way in. And then you'll see when I pan across still quite shallow and then you'll see how little embankment going up so it gets a bit steeper so there will be a little bit more shallow and then on this side obviously just because of the dam this was obviously built um, it should actually be a lot deeper here but i've realized that it's actually quite a gradient and it goes into like a quite a slope so it's quite shallow here as well and then up to where that road is, where the river, where the dam flows over, that's also quite shallow just because of the terrain coming in. But yes, that's just a little bit of advice. If you guys are wondering how I break down a dam, because I've been a bank fisherman for so long, you generally look at your terrain around you to see what's going on around you. And that's how you just become a little bit more intuitive and I don't think I've ever spoken about this. Sometimes you can, you can look at your, your terrain, let's say rock, grass, and all that type of stuff. If, uh, if you look straight ahead, see all those rocks in the water. But if you look up on the actual bank, on the actual land, you'll see there's a lot of rock there in that specific area. So there should generally be rock in that area, straight ahead. More grassy bank, more grass in the water, and then obviously if you look straight ahead at, up at the chalet you'll see there's just rocks coming in from the actual mountain and there are just rocks in that water so try and identify what is on the bank and generally what is on the bank should be in the water it doesn't always work that way but it's a it's a good guideline for you guys to see uh, what to see in the water as a bank angler so where it's man man-made you'll always generally have rocks so like riprap as you guys can see in the actual water there's riprap here that's basically it i can't really give you guys much more insight about how to figure out structure quite tough to catch here i think also because of the heat they'll be in that grass so that's why i took the the punching rig with the oxygen will generally come from the grass so you will generally try and find more grassy areas to fish. The rock is very hot. Look into the dam. It's really important not to waste time fishing with bank fishing because you're also very like limited to where you can cast. So you see here some grass here and a lot of the fish will be shallow. Make sure that you throw a weedless bait. But the fish will be here. Try and fish like the outside pockets of the grass. So like, like I say, try and find like the open pockets where your bait will just glide into it. actually gonna change this boss grub to, to, to a beaver style bait. I thought that I wanted to actually fish it but I'm gonna fish this creature hog. I'll leave all the baits linked down below that I'm actually using. There we go, that's basically what it looks like. 
3-0 flipping hook. So did you see, I had a bite there, but uh, I didn't. I didn't feel it. I thought I was snagged, but. Move on. We've got this section, this section quite well. It's just figuring out how the fish react in it. On that creature hog. <laughs> nice. See how he choked that uh, that creature hog. I actually felt it, dung, and then yeah, I'm on. Yes. See, so what I did there was is I actually flipped it all the way across to those lily pads with that creature hog. Yes, boy. Okay, but yeah, there you have it. First fish on uh, that creature hog. Good fish. Really, really good fish. Followed that small guy though. <laughs> he was actually chasing that weird shaped fish. Look how broken he is. He's like, uh, look at that. It's weird. But let's get him back. All right. Just went back to the house. Got some water. I was quite thirsty. Um, walking down the steps to the little boat. Uh, let's try little boat fishing here.
but uh, yeah, this little bank fishing session was a little bit of a bust. I did catch three. These fish are very hard to catch. I've thrown really finessey stuff like, like a wacky rig, drop shot. I haven't thrown a mojo rig. This is our last day here, so I think Nicola and myself, we're actually gonna go to that bigger dam and we're gonna be shooting a challenge, couples challenge, or a 1v1 her versus me and we're gonna fish off a paddleboard. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you guys wanna see that video. Yeah, I'm gonna sign out here. Hit that thumbs up, comment down below. Subscribe if you guys are enjoying these bush videos. I must go travel a little bit more. I'll check you guys on the next episode of BWS.